This is a demonstration on how to convert a mirror drive that has metadata at the beginning to a standard drive that will boot to the operating system. First thing we want to do is we want to choose the drive that we're having that we want to reset. That drive on this particular system is the second drive here. So we've selected that. You see in the partition template here it shows no data whatsoever. That, drive, that sector is zeroed out. The next thing we want to do is we want to scan this drive to find the first magic record. Slide down here, it's button, on MBR scan. So we can see here, uh, LPA offset 28, we have an MBR. We stop the scan, we don't scan any longer. Next thing we want to do is we want to take this partition sector and make it the active sector in the template. So we take it and double click on it, as you see, it is now the active sector in the template. It's an active master boot record that will be written to sector zero of this drive. Now, the main thing of all this is that the relative sectors must be changed to match to where the OS boot record is. No longer 63 since we have taken it and moved it back 128 sectors. So what you do is you take 128 or whatever the LBA offset is and add to the relative sectors. In this case, 128 63 is 191. Once you've done that, what you want to do is you want to rate the boot sector to the drive that you want to have fixed. So you click on write and up will come this little message box. You take the information here which is the product ID, and you match it to make sure that it matches within this slot here. You take the drive size, and you also want to match it. You do not want to write this to the wrong drive. If these two values match, you click on yes, you'll get a message back that the partition sector has been updated successfully. That's the end of it. There's nothing else needs to be done.